Namaste. So I am so happy that you are, you have completed the three days and now you are on day four. And day four is a complete transforming journey and that has power to change anything. So this practice, which is sun salutation, was originally created for warriors. So you can imagine what your body is going to be look like if you follow this daily. And today you are going to know. You will come to know whether you are able to do it one time or ten time. And that you have to share with me so that I can guide you for the next journey. And this is a little repetition. So whatever we have learned in day one, we are doing that practice till day four and we'll continue it in day five as well. So this is Tarasana, where you'll move your toes up and pressurize the mounds of the toes down. So let me give you a side view here so that you can follow the complete steps in those 10 posture. And after the seventh posture, we, there is a repetition of all the posture so it so it is very easy you're going to love it the only thing is you need to do it correctly and slowly slow is the game here and you have to keep your mind on what you're feeling what your body is responding to it's 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 very simple you're putting action and there is always a reaction to your action and i want you to be aware of all your reactions too as you are being aware of your actions for sure. So now I'm taking you to side. So come, if you're using your mat, come to the edge of the mat. I mostly like it on the wooden floor, so that's why I'm not using my mat. So here, lifting toes up and being present on the mount. So pressurize the big toe mount and then take it to the small toe mount. And you're covering all the mounts. Why? I am pressurizing it. I'm feeling tuck in action in my tummy. I'm feeling stretch in my thighs, in my back, from here. You remember the second day, the second posture in first day? It's your chair pose, Utkatasana. So in Utkata, you will bring your pelvis down. And the only thing you need to be aware of that this tailbone which is jutting out, you place that down. How are you gonna place that down? So obviously you will see that it's jutting out now you place this down that's one important thing for you to notice and now stretch your arms up and you can chant for the energy a beautiful mantra which is surya mantra so inhale om surya namaha and that gives you all the power from here Bend forward your trunk to hold your body into two and bring it down. So your hands here are optional. Your hands can be here. Your hands can be down. But to get more stretch, you, you are supposed to keep your hands extending forward. And then bring your buttocks down at the level of your knee and head down. But I can, I can understand initially you may be here or you may be here. And that's perfectly okay. From there, you'll bring your hands down beside your feet to be able to touch your hands down. Your legs, if you are keeping your legs straight, that can be a struggle initially. So my hands used to come here before when I just started, rather here. So I used to bend my knees and that's technique what I'm giving it to you. Bend your knees and bring your hands down. From here, stretch your head forward, move your right leg back. Once you bring the right leg back, what we are doing is pressurizing the mounds of the toes. And because of this simple reason, I told you initially, you need to learn Tarasana. That is the basis of every posture. And see how we are practicing Tarasana here. By pressing the mounds, concentrating on your feet more, and then bring your knee down, feet flat, and stretch your arms up. And then bring your hand down and change. So from here you are going to change. Bring your right foot forward and left back. And we are going to repeat 
the same here, pressurizing the mounds of both your feet down and then bending the back knee, keeping the back foot flat and stretching your arms over your head. And then bring it down. Now, we're going to move forward to the next posture, which is downward dog. So from here, you place your palms down first and then take your right foot back as well. For some time, be aware of your feet, your mounds, your toes, pressurizing the mounds, and then bringing your heels away from the toes. And then let this posture grow by pushing your palms as well. So what I am doing, pressing my soles and palms both. From here we are moving forward. You may not be able to hold for longer, but try to be aware of every feeling you are having with this. Now move your chest parallel to your hands. Plank position. And then bring your knees down, feet flat. From here, keep bending your elbows. So you are bending your elbows, moving your elbows towards your trunk, side trunk, and then check. If your shoulders are going back here, allow it to go back. Then bring your chest between your hands. And then move your buttocks down, feet stretched and flat, elbows back. So keep pushing the elbows back so that your chest is lifted up. From here, pressurizing your palms, lifting your shoulders up, upper core up, middle and lower. And stretch into cobra. And stay here. And it's a beautiful feeling that you will have right now. Regarding the position of your hands, you can lower it down as well to have a better stretch. Or initially, whatever your position comes to be, just take a picture, take a selfie, and then share with me in the group so that I can guide you from there. There, are you following the instruction? Do you need any inspiration? Or you are going to inspire everyone? Just do share with me. Now from this posture onward, every posture is a repetition. So stretch your toes here, move your knees up, come into downward dog, and stretch your body again. No warm up is required in this posture because this is itself is a warm up. From here we are going to bring your right foot forward. So if you are not able to bring your foot forward between your hands initially, drag it. From here, slowly drag it. From here, slowly drag it. If, if it comes here, even that's okay. From here, bend your knee, bring your left foot as well. So bringing the left, um, so bending your left knee and then bringing your left foot forward as well. From here, it's the repetition. So join your palms, stretch your arms over your head and lift your body up and stretch completely. Bring your hands down. And that's one sun salutation. And I can feel the warmth, the energy, it's amazing. And that's, that can be felt. If you're doing it right now with me, you can absolutely feel what the energy has brought to you. And I want to know that, what's that energy? And it's very important for you to relax. Once you have done, or once you are tired, you can see my breath. Because cardio has pulled up. And you know what? Cardio helps you in losing your calorie, burning your fat. So a couple of deep breaths. So I'm showing you a standing Shavasana, like standing like a corpse, have you heard that? So I would assume as if there is no life in me. Mentally I'm being aware of my body. 
And you can imagine the same posture while laying down, that you lie down on your back and then imagining, just letting go. And you're happy that your shoulders are going down towards the floor. Your feet are going down towards the floor. There is some alignment in the body which is automatically happening because you are letting go. You're just surrendering. And very important key is in surrender, in letting go. So once you do your sun salutation, all the 10 posture, you're getting a wonderful balanced stretch. And after having done that, you are supposed to relax. And the moment you relax, your voice is going to change, your feeling, your mind going to change. That's the beautiful part of this journey. You are going to feel it. And whatever you're feeling right now, do share with me, pen it down before you forget about any feeling associated, any challenge associated. Do write it down and share with me in the free Facebook group, which is Weight Loss the Yoga Way. See you soon. Thank you so much.